everyone, Danny here. Welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel. So today is, thank you, thank you very much, Thursday. It is also the 4th of July, Independence Day here in the States. And so I wanted to do something for the two days um, landing with each other and um, what I wanted to do is react to a patriotic song um, react to Elvis singing a patriotic song. I cannot speak today. Um, so I'm going to react to Elvis singing America the Beautiful. This um, version is from 1976. So let's jump right into it together. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of rain for purple mountains majesty above the fruited plain America America God shed his grace on thee and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, for amber waves of rain, for purple mountains, majesty above the fruity plain, America, America. God shed his grace on thee, and he crowned thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. to that last part. America, America. I love that. The song ends, he's like, let's do that last part again. Um, you can just tell, I mean, that just shows you how much he loves singing this song. Um, let's America, Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. Thank you, that's fantastic. I mean, that really just gives you such a sense of pride as an American, just listening to that. Um, it just really gives me just this sense of, of warmth and this sense of just absolutely incredible pride. Um, and you can hear that pride in Elvis's voice. You can hear how important the song is to him and the strength that he hits those ending notes with is just unbelievable. So he goes really into his lower register for the C and then um, really belts it out on the last America. Um, and it is just so beautiful. I also loved the little spoken section that he did in there. Um, I think you could just hear all of the expression coming through in his voice and just how meaningful the lyrics are to him. Um, how 
just grateful he was to his country and um you know and he just sang it with this this gravity to his voice and it was just so truly um remarkable and um you know i think that i see some pretty disrespectful posts sometimes um the last couple of years on fourth of july and, and things like that and i think it's such a shame um that people are not you know grateful for um all of the freedom and the the sense of expression that we're allowed to have and able to have um here in america so um you know i love to listen to patriotic songs i um whenever i get to sing the national anthem i always treat it as such an incredible honor and when you really listen to the lyrics of these patriotic songs it just they strike you so deeply and um they're so important and meaningful and um something that shouldn't be taken lightly so i think this was a fantastic version and performance of the song there were definitely parts of his voice um and some of the softer more falsetto sounding parts that you could hear um you know almost this little quiver in his voice and um you know this was from 1976 so uh, you know a weakened um spot in his voice in some of the falsetto parts that I was like oh no like why did I choose a version from 1976 but then he nailed it on the belt at the end and he had all the power in the world on those parts so I was like oh damn like whoa that was crazy um so good truly the king i hope that you all enjoyed um this thank you very much thursday it doesn't get much more american than listening to elvis presley on the fourth of july so happy fourth of july to those of you um who are celebrating if you're celebrating i hope that you are celebrating safely and happily have a good day and a nice weekend i hope that um you enjoy it. Go watch some fireworks or something. Mwah. Love you guys.